In this session, we will discuss few questions from matrices. First question, if A and B are two non-singular matrices of same order, then A into B all inverse equal to option A, B inverse, A inverse, option B, A inverse, B inverse, option C, 0, option D, 1. From basic rule of matrix inverse, A into B all inverse equal to B inverse A inverse. So this is a basic rule for finding inverse of product of two matrices. The for correct option is option A. Next question. Solution of the system of equations x plus y plus z equal to 9 to x plus 5y plus 7z equal to 52 2 x plus y minus z equal to 0 is. So options are given as option a equal x equal to 1 y equal to 3 z equal to 4 option b x equal to minus 1 y equal to 4 z equal to 4 option c x equal to minus 1 y equal to 5 z equal to 5 option d x equal to 1 y equal to 3 z equal to 5. If you take options a and d both have same value for x. So when x equal to 1, we put x equal to 1 in first equation, we will get uh, y plus z equal to 9 minus 1 equal to 8. So y plus z equal to 8 by equation 1. So if we substitute this value, y is equal to 3, z equal to 4, that is option A, in this equation, we will get 3 plus 4, that is equal to 7, not equal to 8. So, A cannot be the solution of the system of linear equation. If you take uh, option D, this is for option A. For option D, y equal to 3 and z equal to 5. So, by substituting y equal to 3 plus 5 equal to 8. So, option D may be solution of the system of linear equation because it satisfies first equation. Similarly, when x equal to minus 1, if we substitute x equal to minus 1, that is uh, option C and option B has value x equal to minus 1. So, when x equal to minus 1, first equation implies y plus z equal to y plus z equal to 10. So, option B implies y equal to 4, z equal to 4. 4 plus 4 equal to 8, not equal to 10. So, option B will not satisfy equation 1. So, option B cannot be the solution of the system of linear equation. We are only left with the two options C and D. Now, in option D, x equal to 1. We will check for third equation. When x equal to 1, third equation gives, equation 3 gives 2 into 1 plus y minus z equal to 0 or y minus z equal to minus 2. y minus z equal to minus 2 by equation 3. If we substitute y equal to 3 and z equal to 5, 3 minus 5 equal to minus 2. So, equation D satisfies the required condition of third equation. When x equal to minus 1, y minus z equal to plus 2. y minus z will be plus 2. If you substitute option C, 5 minus 5 equal to 0, not equal to 2. So, C cannot be the solution of the uh, system of linear equation. So, only possible option is option D. Let me check the final equation, that is equation number 2. Equation number 2 is 2x plus 5y plus 7z, 2x plus 5y plus 7z equal to 52. We put x equal to 1, y equal to 3 and z equal to 5. We will get 2 into 1 plus 5 into 3 plus 7 into 5. So that is 2 plus 15, 17 plus 35 that will be 52. Next question. If P is a square matrix, then P minus P transpose is option A symmetric matrix, 
ऑप्शन बी स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स ऑप्शन सी सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स ऑप्शन डी नॉन सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स टू फाइंड द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दस मैट्रिक्स पी माइनस पी ट्रांसपोज वी टेक ट्रांसपोज ऑफ द गिवन मैट्रिक्स दैट इज पी माइनस पी ट्रांसपोज ऑल ट्रांसपोज इक्वल टू पी ट्रांसपोज माइनस पी ट्रांसपोज ऑल ट्रांसपोज दैट इज इक्वल टू पी ट्रांसपोज माइनस P transpose all transpose is P. So this is equal to minus of P minus P transpose. If for a matrix G, if A transpose equal to minus A, then A is skew symmetric matrix. If A transpose equal to A, then A is symmetric. So in this case, P minus P transpose A will be a skew symmetric matrix. So correct option is option B. Next question. The inverse of the matrix one minus one 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 is a two by two matrix. Let us denote this matrix given matrix as A. Then A inverse equal to adjoint of A by determinant value of A. Now what is adjoint of two by two matrix? Adjoint of a two by two matrix will be obtained by transposing the values principal diagonal values and changing the sign of the other elements so here it will be minus of minus 1 is plus 1 and here we have minus 1 now determinant of a equal to 1 into 1 minus of 1 into minus 1 so determine values 2 therefore a inverse equal to 1 by 2 into 1 1 minus 1 1 so correct option is option d next question if p equal to cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta then p cube is now we will consider this matrix as a linear transformation matrix p of theta is taken as a linear transformation cos theta Sin theta, sin theta minus sin theta cos theta. This matrix will transform a point in two D plane. Any point, arbitrary point. Let us take this point as one zero. So one zero is a point in space, or we take as a vector. Vector one zero. If we multiply this vector with p of theta, p of theta into one zero, we will get a transformed. Vector or another point in this two D plane, so that will be equal to, and this will be equal to cos theta minus sin theta. Now, if we take theta in arbitrary angle theta, then cos theta will be equal to. If the length of this line is unity, cos theta will be equal to the projection of this line on x-axis, and sin theta will be equal to projection of the line on y-axis. So, so the co uh, the point having coordinate cos theta minus sin theta will be this is x coordinate cos theta y coordinate is minus sin theta it will be like this that is this point one zero will be rotated by theta degree in clockwise direction this will be the point cos theta minus sin theta now what about ma magnitude Or length of this line, length of this line equal to cos square theta uh, minus sine theta whole square. So that is equal to unity. So the vector one zero will be rotated in clockwise direction by theta angle. So the transformation done by p of theta is rotation of the vector in clockwise direction by theta angle. So p of theta into p of theta into one zero will be equal to cos two theta minus sine two theta, and this corresponds to p p square of theta, and the effect is p of two theta. That means when we multiply p square of theta with the, the given vector one zero, the vector will be rotated by two theta angle. Two theta angle. If we multiply by p square, so if we multiply the vector by p cube, 
then that uh, matrix or that transformation transform the vector into another vector that is that is obtained by rotating the initial vector by 3 theta angle in clockwise direction. So P cube of theta will be equal to P of 3 theta. Conventional way of doing this problem is multiplying P of theta with P of theta. So that is equal to cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta is multiplied with the same matrix cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta. Okay, we'll get the cos square theta minus cos square theta minus sin square theta and uh, this is sin theta uh, cos theta sin theta plus sin theta cos theta then sin theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta minus cos theta sin theta this is cos square theta minus sin square theta the final answer will be cos 2 theta sin 2 theta minus sin 2 theta cos 2 theta and this is equal to cos 2 theta p of 2 theta similarly p cube of theta will be equal to p of theta into p of 2 theta final answer will be p of 3 theta so this is conventional way of doing this problem just multiplying this so correct option is option d p cube of theta equal to cos 3 theta sin 3 theta minus sin 3 theta cos 3 theta the system of linear equation 3x plus y minus z equal to 2 x minus z equal to 1 2x plus 2y plus alpha z equal to 5 is consistent if option a alpha not equal to 2 option b alpha not equal to 3 option c alpha not equal to 4 option d alpha not equal to 5 we obtain the solution by taking these equations 3x plus y minus z equal to 2 x minus z equal to 1 these two equations are linearly independent because we can't write second equation as a linear combination of or linear multiple of first equation so we will derive another equation which is related to coefficients of the third equation using these two equations that can be obtained by multiplying equation 1 by 2 equation 2 in equation 1 gives 6x plus 2y minus 2z equal to 4 multiplying equation 2 by 4 4 into equation 2 implies 4x minus 4z equal to 4. Now subtracting will get 2x plus 2y plus 2z equal to 0. Now this equation has coefficients that are related to equation 3. 2x plus 2y plus 2z equal to 0. So 2x plus 2y means minus 2z. Substituting in third equation 2x plus third equation implies 2x plus 2y plus alpha z equal to 5. 2x plus 2y equal to minus 2z plus alpha z equal to 5. So alpha minus 2 into z equal to 5. For consistency of this equation, alpha minus, uh, alpha minus 2 should not be 0. For consistency of this equation alpha minus 2 into z equal to 5 alpha minus 2 should not be 0 that means alpha not equal to 2 so correct option is option a augmented matrix a b 3 1 minus 1 2 1 0 minus 1 1 2 2 alpha 5 so augmented matrix and the system of linear equations will be consistent or excess solution if rank of a b augmented matrix a b equal to rank of a now we'll find the rank of this matrix a b by row operation first row is 3 1 minus 1 2 
here it will be 0 0 so operation performed is R2 implies raw operation is R2 implies 3 R2 minus R1 3 R2 minus R1 will give first element is 0 3 minus 3 is 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 3 minus 2 is 1 here we have R3 is transformed to 3 R3 minus 2 R1 so 6 minus 6 0 6 minus 2 4 3 alpha plus 2 3 alpha plus 2 is 15 minus 4 15 minus 4 is 11 and this matrix is equivalent to 3 1 minus 1 2 0 minus 1 minus 2 1 0 make this element 0 by raw operation R3 implies R3 plus 4 R2 so this will be R3 3 alpha plus 2 minus 8 so 3 into alpha minus 6 this is 11 plus 4 15 rank of AB rank of AB equal to 3 since there is a non-zero value 15 here rank of AB is always 3 so rank of A should be 3 that means 3 alpha minus 6 should not be 0 that means alpha should not be 2 so for system of equation to be consistent alpha should not be 2 so correct option is option A next question the cofactor of the element 8 in the matrix 1 2 3 9 8 7 4 5 6 is how do you find cofactor of 8 Cof factor of 8 equal to minus 1 raised to i plus j into determinant 1, 3, 4, 6. Determinant 1, 3, 4, 6. i is equal to 8 is in second row. So i equal to 2 and j equal to 2. 8 is in second column. j is also 2. Therefore, cof factor of 8 equal to minus 1 raised to 4 determinant 1 3 4 6 and that is equal to this is positive 1 6 minus 12 equal to minus 6 so cofactor of 8 is minus 6 that is option d